I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I'm really feeling a new high score here. I mean, it's gonna have to start with a perfect launch. But now we've got our rocket riders, we've got our cruisers. Like, as long as I can hit anything, I will be fine. Oh my God, that's a lot of hitting. We just jacked some guy's car and beat him to, to death. Holy crap, What what is happening? There's so much stuff on screen. What's up guys, welcome back to Burrito Bison Revenge. So as some of you guys already know, Burrito Bison had his wallet slip out from between his tiny butt cheeks somewhere in Candyland. And after spending an entire game trying to escape this place, he's willingly returning to go get it. I guess if thousands of Candyland citizens perish in the process, then that's the revenge? I'm as much of a fan of Mr. Bison as the rest of you guys, but I gotta say that I'm not really believing his reasons for being here. Like, the first game made sense, you know, he was forced to be here, he was forced to wrestle, he would try to knock out his opponents and flee the ring. He would fight his way to the exits and break down the doors and ultimately escape. You know, that all adds up. Now, he's doing the exact same thing, except he's not trying to escape. Like, at what point between brutalizing Jawbreaker and squishing these citizens does he plan on even looking for his wallet? He's, he's not even trying to find it. I'm just saying, he seems to be a little bit vindictful. He's got a bit of a bloodlust. Or a sugar lust? A, a sweet tooth? It doesn't matter. Point is, he's a lunatic. We've managed to make our way through multiple doors. I don't know if we've even gotten halfway out. I've played a little bit in between episodes, but I haven't gotten any upgrades, so we shouldn't be any better than when we last left off. I just made it so that I've upgraded the amount of money that we earn. So hopefully we'll be able to buy a lot of upgrades very quickly. We don't need upgrades to take out the police though. Again, at what point does he look for his wallet? It's not gonna be in the ass of that officer. Well, we can definitely afford a lot of different upgrades, but I think right now the biggest problem is that we're losing too much speed. So how about we oil up those buns a little bit further? Even though technically a slippery bum is the reason that we're in this situation. Right, that wallet wouldn't have budged if he didn't lube up his cheeks so much. <laughs> We're just making the situation worse. We should also increase the speedometer. Because by the looks of it, if we max this out, we can unlock Pants on Fire. Interesting, considering we think he's a bit of a liar liar. Oh my god, Cyborg Jawbreaker, what happened? I didn't think I hit you that hard. Uh, you made it way harder for me to hit you. That's for friggin' sure. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just looking for my wallet. Okay, I swear. I don't suppose it's inside your heads. Figure out how many licks or kicks it takes to get to the middle of that candy. I feel really bad, okay? Like, they're not necessarily evil. It might just be a character. It's, it's like I said, they're wrestling. It's, it's it's cool. It's all fake. It's just for entertainment. Everybody kind of steals a plane and flies it into a gas can for entertainment, right? Oh my God, can we just hit every police officer on the force? Come on, Bison. Get your head out of your ass. We know that your wallet isn't there anymore. These police officers have just got to get off my nuts. Like, we're earning so much money. $5,500, and this isn't even a particularly good run. I mean, we're only like halfway to our high score, seriously? We bought a bunch of upgrades and we can't even get as far as we have in the past? Why am I spending so much money on oiling up your bum when I could just leave and then spend the money that we're getting for all the hit jobs on the stupid groceries and leave? Oh, sorry, not groceries, steroids. It just doesn't add up. You got like six grand there, just leave. Oh. New opponent. What did that say? The Berserker? I don't really want to pay to fight him. I like how it shows that we maxed out at 201 kilometers per hour. Like, he is absolutely cooking it. <laughs> but we need to go faster. Or maybe we need a little bit more help? What if we get more lucky gummies and stuff like this? I, I think that's the biggest problem now. It's just that we're not getting anything. We just bounce, hit the ground, bounce, hit a gummy, bounce, hit the ground. We need uh, a little bit of special help. He's starting to look more and more like Frieza before Trunks gave him the old slap chop treatment. I'm sorry, dude. 
and I'm not apologizing because I'm Canadian. I'm apologizing because I'm beating him to, to death majestically. You see, that's the kind of stuff that we need to see more often. That is gonna help us go a long way. That kept me in the air for so long. We didn't touch the ground. We keep our speed up. I just gotta get a little bit lucky in doing that over and over again. I mean, money is all fine and dandy. We might want to spend money on the upgrade that gets us through doors easier. That's where we're losing a lot of speed. I think we just lost like a third of our speed there. Which is just unacceptable, oh my god. And maybe something to help us with these police because it is brutal. Oh, okay, this is, this isn't a good run. What am I saying? It, it's kind of lagging a little bit. <laughs> and we hit a police officer. Okay, we might need to do something about them. Can we hire more of them, corrupt more of them? There's gotta be some answer. We're gonna go ahead and hand over $8,000 of money that was pulled out of the corpses of the innocent. <laughs> to lose less speed when landing on cops and increase chances of encountering corrupted cops. I don't know if that's gonna replace the straight cops with the corrupted cops, but either way, it should help out quite a bit. And we can get more elastic cables. Start with a little bit more power. Maybe if we keep maxing that out, we can just make our way clean through Jawbreaker. I mean, he's gotta tap out eventually. I mean, there's no way that he's this much of a glutton for punishment. <laughs> Still haven't found my wallet. Still gonna have to continue elbowing my way to the center of your skull. Really sorry about that. Again, really gotta remember to get that upgrade for doors. We are absolutely flying right now. We're keeping up quite a bit of speed. This might end up being a good run. We're at the second door already. <laughs> okay, keep it up. We can get a couple more of these special gummies. We might be able to get moving just a little bit quicker. Oh, that was bad, that was, that was bad. I, I tried to get the bouncy one. <laughs> I'm getting greedy here. Stupid little blue idiots, get out of the way. Did some of these police officers not get the memo? There was $8,000 up for grabs, guys. <laughs> Come on now, plenty to go around. Almost got another 8,000 from this run alone. Oh, this is definitely gonna be a high score. Now we're talking. <gasps> Might be able to, oh, actually, if we hit this door, are we just gonna, nope, we're not gonna splatter, we're gonna go through it, all right. We're on to the frozen purple candy land. Interesting. How much do I have to pay for the entire police force? Because that's a piss off. Oh, this doesn't make any sense at all. He's back here to find his wallet so that he can have enough money to buy his steroids. But to find the wallet, he's gonna use the money that he already has to buy steroids. <laughs> Does that make any sense to anybody? I, I don't know why I'm trying to make sense of a game where you smush sentient candy with a luchador, but still, have we hit our head off of Jawbreaker's mechanics one too many times? Or do you guys hear Nyan Cat music? Despite the fact that we're not Nyan Cat right now. <laughs> I mean, we are a little bit beefier. We should lose a whole lot less speed when hitting doors. Note, the music is still playing. That's really, really strange. <laughs> I'm guessing that whatever we bought was all upper body. His bum and his legs are as small as ever. And I, I you know I, I keep making fun of him for having a tiny bum, but you know what? You had a little bit more rump in the trunk than maybe we wouldn't be in this mess to begin with. Ooh. We got to that second door real quick. Holy crap, the speed is unreal. And this quiet Nyan Cat music is freaking me out. I want it to stop. Oh, we are definitely gonna get a high score here. I want the pump up music. Ah, oh, it usually gets me so in the mood for crushing gummies and now it's just, just way too happy. This stupid propeller hat just does not fit. Oh, come on, through the door, through the door, through the door, yes! <laughs> New high score. Okay, we have a long friggin' way to go here and, oh, it's ice cream. We're in ice cream land, all oh, right. That makes a whole lot more sense than snow around these parts, I suppose. Losing a lot of speed there, Bison. Come on now, we'll just squish those cops and, oh, we've needed that so badly. We needed the rockets. The bombs only give you height, I believe. I don't know if they give you speed. The cops take speed. We really don't want that. Okay, a little bit more height. We're chugging along. Almost $10,000 in a run. 
That's impressive. That could buy you a whole lot outside of Candyland. In here, it buys you pretty much nothing. Suck it, cops. You had your chance, okay? I offered you all the money in the world. They just don't know any better. Can we get somebody to cut the music for the love of gods? Oh, that's not good. Both music tracks are playing at the same time. I broke the first game and that made it a lot more enjoyable. This is kind of torture. If I mute the music, it doesn't mute that music. <laughs> what if I mute this? Nope, nope, it's just part of us now. Okay then, I guess we're just gonna have to find another way to deal with that for now. I kinda wanna get whatever you are. Cruisers, have a chance of encountering cruisers. Not gonna describe what a cruiser is. If I'm gonna spend $15,000, I'd like an idea. It certainly wasn't easy, but I managed to surgically remove the part of Bison's brain that wouldn't stop singing the Nyan Cat music on repeat. So now we're back to the screams of the damned. I'm sure that won't be off-putting at all. Nope, you work through it. I don't know if this final door is gonna be the end of the game. I'm really concerned that it won't be because not only do we have a lot more upgrades that we can buy, but there's also one more boss that we can put in the ring with us, which is gonna make the spinner even more difficult. Like, I've been doing pretty good with the spinner now. I finally got the hang of things and it's gonna go change it up on me. And I don't know how much the new opponent costs actually. Usually they're really freaking expensive. I really don't wanna to have to save for a million years to get them, but if it's the only way to get through this door, I think that's how the game works. Even you guys in the comments weren't really sure. Nothing is kind of explained at face value here in Candyland. Making a crap load of money though, we're only about halfway to our high score and nearly $10,000, are you serious right now? Oh no, no, you, you gotta stop bouncing off the ground. You gotta hit the important gummies like that one. There we go. That's the good stuff. And that one, good, get a little bit of speed. We definitely slowed down from bouncing off the ground a hundred times here, but might be able to turn it around. You can definitely get lucky with some of the gummies that you encounter. If we get some of these special ones, then we might barely get through the door. Oh, come on, you're killing me right now, Bison. Come on, there we go, a little bit more money. Okay, we can spend $11,000. That'll go to good use, I'm sure we might be able to get a new opponent for that much? Nope, he costs half a million dollars. Where on earth or where in Candyland am I supposed to get a half a million dollars? I can afford this guy, Rocket Riders. Okay, that sounds helpful. I, 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 we are gonna be here forever. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I'm really feeling a new high score here. I mean, it's gonna have to start with a perfect launch. But now we've got our rocket riders, we've got our cruisers, like as long as I can hit anything, I will be fine. Oh my god, that's a lot of hitting. We just jacked some guy's car and beat him to, to death. Holy crap, what what is happening? There's so much stuff on screen. I was a rocket, then I was a nyan cat, I jacked some guy's car. Holy crap, these doors don't stand a chance. I think we just got an achievement for going above our maximum speed. How is that possible? It means it's not our maximum. Come back here. No, Rocket Rider, I need you. Oh, okay, good. We might be able to catch up if we hit this gas. No. We've got so much speed. No, no, don't hit the ground. Hit the gummies. There's so many of them fleeing. It shouldn't be that difficult. There we go. Get some air. Yeah. Where are you going? So I'm guessing the cruisers just drive around on ground. It's weird, we haven't seen anything like that. Everything has been in the air up until this point. But the rocket riders are as expected, just flying around, waiting for me to take them on. Ooh, police, okay. There's so many, oh, cruiser, cruiser, please, please. Yes, come on, get that speed. Oh my God, that is so good. We need more of those. We absolutely need more of those. We're definitely gonna get a high score now. We're so close. We still have so much momentum. Oh, no, no! I thought I got the cruiser. I got the stupid hat. It screwed me up. Ah, okay, but it's fine because we still have a bunch of jumps. <laughs> it's so hard to commentate over this because so, no, so much stuff is happening on screen at once. Yes, here we go. Okay, progress, pro explodes. Okay, we're at a high score. 
Everybody remain remain calm and lucky. <laughs> calm and lucky is the name of the game. What just happened? I don't think I did that. I mean, I might have, but he just power bombed out of the clouds. Ooh, okay. This might be enough speed to hit the door. We're, we're at our maximum speed. We couldn't be going any freaking faster. I swear to God, if we don't go through this door. No! Oh. Bullet here. Are you serious? We were at our max speed, except I can upgrade my max speed. So what do you think it is? Do I need a higher max speed or do I need a half a million dollars for another opponent? Because I'm only gonna do one. I'm gonna assume that the rules of Candyland are consistent and not unwritten. It doesn't say anywhere that I need to upgrade my opponent. It doesn't even say that it's a benefit. It's just kind of cool. But we know that you have trouble breaking through stuff if you're not going fast enough. It's pretty standard in Candyland, so I'm thinking we're gonna get bouncies so that uh, gummies make you bounce higher and lose less speed. That's the more important thing. As well as an increased speedometer, which will allow you to reach higher speed and even beyond. And I've also upgraded it so that we're even more voided out. We barely lose speed when we hit a door now. I may have come up with a bit of a secret strategy for breaking the game. <laughs> it's gonna rely completely on luck, but if we manage to encounter at least one cruiser, then it's gonna speed up the game. Quite literally. I mean, we're off to a great start. We're at max speed, but I wanna go beyond max speed. I wanna be in the red. Good, okay, auto clicker engage. Look at my speed. Oh my God. I'm moving so fast the screen is shaking. Oh. If we can get a cruiser near the end of the level, then we're good. We're gonna lose so much of the speed because we don't have the speedometer to hold onto it, but still, like if I hit a cruiser around now or a little bit later, oh my God, we just stopped dead in our tracks. But it works, it, it does work, it's confirmed to work. All I need is a little bit of luck. In this final stretch, if we can find a cruiser, we're good to go. No, why would you crush it? You stupid meat-brained idiot, come on. Okay, you get the dunce hat. That's fine, I suppose, but I don't want you in the air. I want you on the ground. You gotta be staying nice and low to find those cruisers, and that's all I'm gonna be upgrading from here on out. I don't care about anything else. All we need is two encounter cruisers. Go, go! Maximum speed engaged. Could not be moving any faster, and you slow down again instantly. No! So, we know how to get the speed now, okay? That's no longer a problem, but we need the speedometer so that we can maintain the speed, otherwise we just lose it instantly. We're gonna glide into it at this rate, or not at all. I mean, it doesn't get much faster than this. We're pretty much a, a giant KDK meteor. We did it! It worked! Robbing the robbers! And I didn't even need to cheat! D at least not much. <laughs> Can we leave now? Congratulations, you got your wallet back. Oh, it's the end of Candyland. You have unlocked the survival mode. You can access the survival mode from the main menu. Well, we're just gonna kill more of them for no reason? Uh, guys, he got his wallet back and he's not going back to pay for his steroids. <laughs> he's found his way to the candy wasteland to continue hurting people. I, I, I don't want any part of this, okay? I'm not gonna be an accessory. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for Burrito Bison Revenge, guys. And I can definitely say that I like the second game. You, know, you can see how they're expanding on the ideas from the first, even if it doesn't really make sense sometimes. <laughs> And there is another game. There's a third version, Burrito Bison Lancha Libre, that has multiple wrestlers and more locations and maybe a story that adds up and doesn't make us look evil. And if you guys want to see a series on that, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and I'll return for that soon. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.